Hi, everyone. Hi. I hope someone with us <laughs> right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. We will still give you some minutes to join us and uh, maybe who is who has already joined could you please provide some information about you hi everyone what is your name and maybe a couple of words about your status i mean are you a student are you just thinking about changing your career and maybe you are a professional and ready to discuss testing with us just a couple of words because we are also want to introduce ourselves. Yeah. And uh, also you can, uh, when we waiting for more people, you can prepare your drink of choice. In uh, my case, it's a tea. Ludmila, do you have yours? Yeah, actually I'm a big fan of coffee, but today <laughs> I will share <laughs> a cup of tea with you. Yeah. Or hi, you can everyone. Yeah, hi. You can prepare more, even more stronger something <laughs> yeah. for today. If uh, communicating in English is quite difficult for you, some strong <laughs> drink <laughs> can make you feel yeah. relaxed. Yeah, more relaxed. This, this works for me, yeah. I agree. Okay, so we are going to add this video on our YouTube channel. So maybe we can start talking about ourselves. If yeah, no one uh, is going to introduce themselves. <laughs> yeah, let's start for, from us. Okay, so yeah, actually we're working together. We've invented uh, our nicknames for our students you can see that my full name is Ludmila Kulovich and my colleague is Ludmila Barshevskaya so we are calling ourselves for our students like Ludmila A and Luda B so <laughs> feel free to ask questions if you will have any questions particularly to each of us to ask Ludmila A or Ludmila B so a couple of words about me actually I am a newcomer to IT sphere I've spent more than 12 years uh, teaching in school and I was absolutely sure that I will not fit IT sphere. I wasn't sure that I will be able to apply kind of uh, technical knowledge in practice or something like that. But surprise, today I am a trainer of SFT lab at IPAM. And actually, technical modules is uh, like my favorite step of education. The school. Yeah. Uh, actually, I uh, yesterday I had uh, my 13 years uh, anniversary at uh, IPAM at IT in general. So IPAM is this my first uh, job, uh, my, my first company. So I uh, also started as a functional tester. I, wo I worked on uh, different projects. I worked as a tester, as a test lead, and in general I have uh, 10 dis different projects. So my experience, my knowledge are based on practice mostly for sure i read some books uh, i learned some the theory but uh, i uh, also know a lot of uh, from practical point of view how it works on production or at the pump but and near six years ago i was invited uh, to go to our training center and uh, we started to work at uh, Minsk laboratory, but now together with Ludmila, we dealing with uh, other locations uh, and uh, uh, we uh, see that uh, 
uh, in uh, here in Minsk in Belarus uh, we have one strong courses it's uh, IT Academy and it's uh, like paid courses and uh, also we have uh, the best uh, courses at IPAM it's for free but uh, uh, it has uh, like several steps uh, of uh, selection uh, students and uh, we see that um, uh, here in Belarus, we have like uh, like uh, core uh, understandable set of uh, knowledge of uh, books to read. For example, Kulikov books, and this is enough. Uh, but when uh, now we are facing with other uh, people with other locations, we see this big uh, problem uh, that uh, uh, students uh, have uh, because there are a lot of educational platforms, courses, free or paid, and different approaches of uh, each uh, country. And uh, for now, there are some, uh, you, uh, I, I hope you know, some channels uh, in Telegram, in YouTube of other bloggers. But uh, we also see that uh, there are a lot of topics not for IT beginners, not for testers who would like to start their career, but like more deeper uh, knowledge and skills. And a lot of materials are uh, on Russian language. And uh, I, uh, we believe that this also not very good. For sure, maybe some of you will uh, work uh, on IT companies uh, in your, ca in your uh, countries on your local languages. But uh, if you uh, would like to have, uh, if you would like to have this career in a, a um, big international company, uh, English is absolutely must. So we would like to combine all these things, and our goal uh, to prepare. Uh, materials and content for the beginners from one side, from, from one hand, and uh, uh, do this in English uh, because uh, it's really important nowadays. Yeah, actually, if, even if you are communicating with your team members in, uh, I don't know, le let it be in any language, in your local language, still there are a lot of projects where testing documentation, test artifacts are created in English. And so you should just have enough vocabulary to do it and to communicate with your colleagues. Yeah, again, as Luda mentioned, you can find a project on your local language. But still, uh, being able to uh, write, to create something, to communicate in English, just broaden your opportunities. So still, you can choose to join local project or maybe international one. And sometimes uh, it can be like a hard to start. But you know, when you will start doing this in English, you are going to be great so practice always makes perfect yeah absolutely and don't be afraid to start uh, to uh, learn english or to start read it's it's the most uh, i think easy uh, part uh, of learning english to maybe learn some theory it's important but also to speak uh, you see that uh, my english is not so perfect as uh, ludmila's a but uh, ludmila allows me to speak so <laughs> you will be even you and this will be fine as well <clears throat> yeah still okay. the hardest part is always to start so yeah, we absolutely. encourage you to start to take an active part in discussion maybe in asking questions if you do not want to ask questions today we hope that you will have questions on the task tomorrow and there are the days when your questions will be much more valuable than yeah. right now. 
Yeah. So this all about us, I think, for now, and uh, also who maybe joined us a little bit later. Uh, we uh, ask you if you want to write uh, down in comments your name, uh, what your level in uh, testing. Maybe you just want to start your career, or maybe you uh, experienced tester for now, and what is your mood today? How are you doing today? But and we are move on. So let's talk about what is functional testing in general, what testers should do. But I suppose while... everyone is scared that you're going to read <laughs> the description. No, I'm not going to do this. You should do by yourself, and it's really. Uh, to make you this uh, to make you a little bit scared, but not be scared. Uh, actually, functional testing is uh, uh, easier that you think, but not so easy. Uh, maybe some other can think. Yeah, <clears throat> if you're thinking that functional testing is all about just clicking the buttons, maybe and uh, reporting the bugs the errors that you found uh, that you will find so surprise there are a lot of different activities yeah so uh, if you imagine yeah, that you will just click on some buttons and uh, post in some bugs no and Unfo uh, unfortunately or fortunately uh, we can uh, uh, see uh, say you that there are four main testers activities so this um, uh, when we are talking about a big project uh, we start from idea from our customer and uh, these ideas should be written as requirements what uh, the team should do and uh, this should be written by our business analyst so our goal here our part of work is to analyze these requirements to verify them to test them from some bugs point of view from logical bugs point of view maybe some information is missed and so on the next Next one is uh, to create testing documentation uh, based on which we will perform uh, further testing. So I mean, uh, here we should create some checklist or test cases. Uh, don't be afraid; we will be familiar with this these days. And uh, this, uh, like a plan, not to forget about uh, important things while testing. And uh, the next thing is to perform tests. So uh, uh, our tests. So this is the most interesting part. Uh, here we go through our documentation and uh, find some bugs and post them. And the last activity is to do uh, like uh, some uh, a lot of different type of reports. Uh, for different people, this is also very important. This is and this is just the main activities we have on the project. Yeah, and as we are going to dive deep in like main activities, so just overview of these activities. Remember, just for you to keep in your mind that testers is not only about testing. Yeah, requirement analysis starting with the first step is very important. I suppose you know that the earlier the bug is found, the cheaper that's going to be to fix it. And uh, also, uh, if you will not have a proper documentation, if you failed to perform good test design, uh, actually you are going to miss a lot of bugs. So that's very important to have a vision, a, a deep understanding of these main activities. And maybe during the project, you will have lack of technical knowledge. Maybe you will have lack of experience about IT processes. But what is absolutely expected from each junior specialist is that he or she can perform these types of activities. Yeah. Absolutely. But uh, um, going further, uh, there are also other type of activities each tester should do. And uh, we shouldn't forget that we are not working uh, just uh, 
as a one person on a project. So there are a lot of different uh, specialists on the project who will work or who works uh, together with you. Uh, on this slide, uh, you can see on this picture several ones, but this is not a full list. This is just an example. Yeah, and one more surprise uh, that testers' job, uh, testers' work involves a lot of communication. So that's not only about testing, that's also about communicating with developers, with business analytics, with designers, and so on so far. Uh, I remember being so surprised about how much time the actual communication yeah takes from you how uh, <laughs> strong your soft skills should be to go to each and every one to find out a lot of different issues also that's i suppose that's a myth for that testers like the bottom of it chain or something like that uh so uh, Testers are usually have like a very deep understanding of the project because developers are creating one feature, maybe two features and so on. Uh, but uh, QA are going to test everything. So usually they are who demonstrate uh, the features to the customer and so on. So we've got more global vision and should like share understand ask a lot of questions so be ready to communicate yeah not to test just everything on the project but also to test everyone on the project uh, because you will uh, verify work of a business analyst by reviewing by test requirements for sure developers by uh, reviewing their core code i mean application to find bugs in it and also for designers to verify their mockups and so on and all other specialists. And uh, I uh, o uh, always uh, told to my students that the tester is a soul of the project because, you know, this is like uh, a network of uh, for everyone, uh, because as Ludmila already told you that we have a lot of communication with each other and uh, we like uh, connecting each other on the project because uh, like we can uh, go to developers and say, okay, business analyst told me this uh, and, and so on and so on, yeah. Yeah, that's, I suppose that's all about, yeah, team. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, maybe if you you are not uh, familiar with the testing or maybe your like relatives or friends and uh, uh, someone who uh, have no uh, has no like details about testing, tester uh, imagine the typical testers day as a testing whatever this means and drinking a coffee like in it uh, in general yeah testing and the coffee and, and of course why... earn a lot of money <laughs> that's, <laughs> oh, that's the absolutely. point of joining yeah, it yeah. yeah absolutely this one more. but uh, we can say that uh, unfortunately this is not so and testing included a lot of activities as you already know and uh, one of the typical testers they actually can be like this one so uh, we are talking about uh, like working with documentation this can be uh, analysis requirements or even uh, uh, you can analyze other type of documentation which can be different on different projects also you have some uh, meetings with your t uh, team it's a daily status meeting and the uh, team com with team communication for sure you will start your day maybe with reading emails uh, and so on uh, there can be some uh, specific uh, activities on your project, but it can be, for example, environment setup. So uh, it uh, can be Ludmila can uh, uh, pr prove this, yes. And for sure, like do testing. So test your application. It's like small uh, amount of time you will spend on this. Yeah, 
Yeah, if you, if you are still expecting that you will test and that's all, actually no, a lot of work uh, will be done, either uh, sometimes setting up the environment or maybe even merging branches into the master branch, yeah, adding new features will be don't, done. Don't <laughs> make afraid of our... Uh, listeners, uh, yeah, watchers. still, still a lot of uh, maybe technical yeah tasks will be held by you, and that's okay, because uh, <clears throat> you will always have people who will support you at your project, who will help you, who you will uh, be able to ask about some processes again. And maybe the main idea of our this event, this marathon, when we were thinking about it, was to provide you information about main test activities, just like examples. Uh, this is a typical tester day, like an example of this day. Do not expect <laughs> that we have uh, like a schedule for each activities. Uh, each project uh, differs from another one. So yeah, there, is, yeah. there, there, there is no full description. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So uh, you should be ready when you want to start your career at IT and uh, that there are uh, a lot of uh, types of uh, companies and a lo uh, much more types of uh, projects. So uh, uh, you can't be like strict and uh, direct. So you should be flexible. And this is the most important things. Thing. And our uh, main goal also not just to provide you a theory uh, for for uh, for sure for uh, juniors uh, it's like mandatory to to know some theory but uh, usually in IT everybody focused on practice so uh, the goal of our marathon for sure is to show you some theory but uh, to show you a practice uh, to uh, give you a chance to try to do something uh, to practice uh, some these main activities yeah there are a lot of different sources when you can read a lot of theoretical materials yeah we've assigned uh, a meet, meet for you with Svetoslav Kulikov I suppose his book is like a bible it is strongly recommended before different uh, courses offline courses I mean you barely find uh, a telegram chat without mentioning this book like what should I start with try to read Savin and Kulikov's books and so on so uh, just uh, focus on trying to do something with your hands uh, maybe it will contain mi one mistake maybe a lot of mistakes still we will try to provide you feedback we promise it will be an anonymous one so nobody will know that that was mark peterson who has created these bug reports and so on still uh, let's try to do something yeah actually by ourselves yeah and uh, i think uh, the soul for like presenting the whole idea of uh, our uh, start uh, and uh, maybe we can uh, go to our questions i saw some of uh, them in uh, the chat so maybe we can answer on them it will yeah be I, useful. I i've tried to answer some of them while yeah. we were talking <laughs> if uh, I, i've got a possibility maybe i was a little bit di di distracted still yeah slowly reading kulikov's book <laughs> i can <laughs> understand you so uh, the question can we get trainee after courses a trainee offer after courses i suppose if you mean ipam trainee offer the answer is no this is like our personal project and the idea as it was mentioned yeah above just to uh, share with you our knowledge absolutely free uh, ask our ask questions and so on 
but no like official offers we will not promise them to you mm -hmm. Would... yeah yeah uh, i would like to to say that uh, we have uh, this is not a secret uh, and we can tell you that uh, we are uh, working at ipam company but uh, we not uh, uh, during in our channel we are not representing officially ipam so this like our uh, hobby to do this uh, yeah 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 that wasn't yeah. Uh, like an idea to share okay see we cool we are from Yipam. it was just an introduction if we were working at some other company so it's we we just mentioned it like our work experience yeah and uh, uh, actually i see this this course provided ipam or it's your my, uh, or, uh, your activities is our own not ipam in the if you want uh, we can say this if you want to go to uh, ipam courses you can go to uh, training uh, dot ipam dot com yeah and uh, find found what courses uh, have in your location uh, and maybe you will be happy to see your location uh, and open uh, trainings here but uh, this course uh, have, have has no connection with ipam unfortunately and uh, what is the final goal of our course uh, we are not talking about any course right now we invite you to a free marathon which will be held for one uh, week this week and the goal is to uh, make you familiar with the main testing activities not just on theory but to try to do some practical exercises uh, on uh, this course and yeah Mila, that's, that's can, all can, can, sorry, sorry for interrupting you. Can I read uh, the uh, questions? It will be better, and we will discuss them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So. So maybe I just want to add a little bit yes, about sure. our goal, because you see that for now our main activities is to prepare in students. Yeah. So it's also like uh, Luda was mentioned, like a hobby, like an additional creative work for us uh it's an absolute joy yeah it's also like a kind of training for us <laughs> to find <laughs> new materials to find new ways to share these materials and so on and also like to summarize because there are lots of materials in the internet so and uh, also we have some practice at ipam that differ for example from the common ones and uh, for example today uh, you saw our uh, like uh, scheme about testing levels at the palm we have small critical extended at uh, all other world i would say this uh, according to this ISTQB, this like other one so uh, but we try to uh, show you different um, pictures uh, and uh, to to see, um, to show you that there are no just one correct answer and is this what my main uh, also uh, phrase that my my main favorite phrase that uh, test uh, testing is not a, a science so there is no uh, just one correct answer it can be different correct answers on one uh, topic so uh, your uh, goal is to have this different point of view and select maybe the most appropriate for you yes just to, to be able to apply your knowledge in practice maybe while performing testing tasks uh while entering some company maybe to answer interview questions and so on still there is a very little part of our planned content that we are going to share so we like do not have even final goal because uh, we've created some basic topics prints on basic topics and we have a lot of ideas about what to add to our channel so mm -hmm. no final goal join <laughs> us stay with us 
Yeah, yeah. And we have Natalia, for example, who now study non-free course on automation testing. And I think that in our uh, locations, we have this on at Palm, for example, we have like two different specialists, functional testers and automation testers. And uh, like automation testers is just uh, p uh, people who can code. But uh, for them, uh, we also think that uh, uh, this introduction to functional testing will be very useful because they are testers, not just automation. <laughs> yeah, actually now I'm spending my free time also for trying to learn uh, uh, some programming language and I watched a video where I really like the idea that was mentioned about functional testing and uh, automation testing. You cannot be a good automation testers if you do not know the basics of uh, functional software, yeah, manual testing. You cannot code the test case which is poorly written. A bad test case cannot be automated. Also, at my project experience, manual testers uh, were also responsible for creating such test cases for future automation. Yeah. And, wow, I have... I have an interesting question. Uh, Ludmila, uh, what... Uh, uh, do you like in testing most of all? Don't you like, I suppose. What the, uh, uh, don't you, oh, this, it's not interesting. <laughs> <laughs> For you, what don't you like about okay. testing most of all? I would like, uh, can I ask a question what I uh, do Start like? Start with liking and then what you don't then like. I, I, uh, and you uh, say what you don't. For me, uh, I like in testing most of all that there are a lot of different activities. For example, uh, developers just coding, but testers uh, do a lot of uh, uh, activities when we, we talked about it at the, at the beginning of our stream. And uh, I like to switch between activities. So for me, this is very uh, interesting. What I, I don't like, actually, uh, honestly saying, if um, I can choose, I usually um, choose, not to usually, but uh, in idea life, I prefer project uh, where functional test, uh, testing is the uh, most important part of my work without testing, uh, without these technical things which Ludmila A likes. I mean this uh, databases, the, this web services. Uh, actually, I did a lot of uh, this uh, work, but I don't like them. So technical is not mine. What about Maybe you, my Mila? answer will be so <laughs> typical about don't like doing something. But I suppose that I don't like writing a lot of test cases, like if this task is for a couple of days. So when you have no other activities, you've got features that you've analyzed, you've got a meeting for analyzing the feature, and then you should spend like two days writing test cases and then a couple more days reviewing test cases of your teammates maybe this work more like re requires more concentration i like the task where i can change one to another try to do this try to do that and uh, technical uh, tasks are good because uh, Sometimes you have no idea how to do it and Google will help you, mentors will help you. So that's always interesting. But working with test documentation, sometimes a challenge for me. Yeah. Uh, and what uh, do you think, uh, Ludmila? Uh, are you going to have your personal uh, company, uh, QA, something like that in the future? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> what uh, if we are talking about me? I can say that I'm a teacher. I like teaching. I like uh, uh, to tell uh, other people something uh, interesting. So I'm not uh, thinking f about me like a businessman, for example, about a manager. I think more like a teacher. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, what to write in resume for a tester who has no experience in IT? Maybe some useful advice because now it's very difficult to find a job as junior without experience. Absolutely agree. This is really hard, uh, hard to do this. So uh, uh, you should start uh, of writing about the theory you know and also maybe about your past experience that you can that can help you in it sphere for example if you work uh, uh, as uh, in as insurance uh, manager for example or maybe in uh, like manager of uh, uh, cars uh, uh, Sales. shop sales yes yes i mean so why not maybe they can find uh, the uh, uh, a company fund uh, a specialist in this sphere because it's a uh, as the main area so it's important uh, uh, some knowledge in this sphere. Maybe you know other language. It's also very important. Sometimes customers can be from diff not from uh, English speaking country, maybe from German, something like that. Germany, it, China, yeah. Yeah, it's also important if you know this uh, language, just for example. So trying to find uh, some, maybe even relevant your soft experience. Yeah, and even soft skills, uh, which can help you with show that you are a good team player. For example, maybe you have uh, uh, five children and you be in uh, this maternity leave for a lot of years. So, but this is a great experience. Show this. Also, we can advise you to join crowd testing platforms different to try to perform testing in these platforms. I suppose if you are not an absolute newcomer, you know that crowd testing platforms, it's like a union of different testers with different devices. So you can go there, try yourself at these kinds of activities, and that will be great if you write, write down it. Yeah, also, uh maybe you can find information about some better testing of some games for example it's also a relevant experience try yeah. to find some things and maybe some like uh, some some websites where you can just uh, apply your knowledge why not and also find a bug for example maybe you can even find the bug on the but okay i'm i'm imagine okay so uh, how can we receive the tasks for the marathon ludmila uh i suppose that you've got the answer to this question in our channel uh all the tasks will be provided with the materials uh, for you to study with some uh, more useful materials, yeah, just to find out important moments. And of course, the tasks will be placed, yeah, will be posted in our channel. You can go back to the first message of today. You will also find the email where you should uh, send your performed tasks for us to look through and uh, Luda I suppose we've missed one questions from Islambek yeah what is the difference oh I, between... I think it will be next one question actually ah okay uh -huh. like... so I can yeah I can add uh, here that uh, every morning you will receive uh, the task for uh, the day in our telegram channel uh, if you don't know where it is it should be in the description of our youtube channel as well so you uh, definitely will find them find them yeah i think it is clear <clears throat> and the next one yeah what is the difference between q engineers and software testing engineers clear different in activities yeah for today uh they are like synonyms if you will go to uh like any uh place to look through the to search for work they are mostly used like synonyms when these terms just appeared they were 
some differences. QA engineers more concentrated on the processes. The main idea is not to let the mistakes, the errors appear, like the main concentration on this work. While software testing engineers, their main task is to create test documentation and make sure that no mistakes are at the created uh, application, at the created yeah. feature. Yeah, and also to uh, recall a uh, difference between quality assurance, uh, it's uh, QA engineers, I mean, this QA, what does it mean? It's quality assurance and testing. You can uh, look at our beautiful picture uh, on in our channel uh, today in the morning. Uh, we pre we sent you with these fishes. I think it's it's really <laughs> yeah. But still, please c please calm down. <laughs> if you see like a uh, job, uh, I don't know, not job offer, but a vacancy mm -hmm. uh, for QA specialist, QA engineer, just QA tester, functional tester, software testers, and so on. I suppose you can apply to this job. There is a great difference between QA specialist and automation QA specialist. Yes, that's clear. That's the knowledge of programming language. But if we are talking about typical activities of QA engineers and software testing engineers for today, they are like synonyms. Mm, I agree. So the next question, what can you advise for newcomers? Uh, how to make first time on the project more comfortable? It's impossible. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> I remember I... the first day being at my project and it was like a status meeting. It was an absolutely like huge Jira board with a lot of tasks. And a lot of people were talking about this project. I've been acquainted with this application. I was sure that that's going to be okay. And they were talking with words. Actually, I know these words, but I do not understand anything. That was terrifying. So be ready just to go through this experience. Uh, sometimes this experience be more smoothy. Sometimes uh, you will be the only tester on the project. So <laughs> you will have managed to this idea also. But still think that that's okay to be afraid. That's okay if you do not understand a lot of uh, happening events, if you do not understand a lot of maybe technical issues, a lot of about processes. That's okay, absolutely. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, when I went to my tenth project, I also was in the situation as Ludmila just told you, because uh, I also know all these words and so on. But uh, I was uh, I uh, was not uh, familiar with this uh, particular uh, project with this particular application. So it's okay to uh, not to understand anything. Uh, and uh, so on, it's okay, but uh, your goal is uh, listen carefully and uh, ask questions. And uh, your goal is to understand who you can or you should ask all these questions. Maybe you will have a mentor, maybe not, but you can find this person uh, who you can ask all these questions. Maybe this can be your lead or even this can be lead of developers or it can be business analyst. So you should be familiar with your team. You should understand who uh, should, uh, who uh, does some activities and uh, the first the next you should understand who you ask uh, all your questions uh, for so uh, and be afraid it's okay so don't be afraid of being afraid 
Yeah, <laughs> maybe one more important point mm -hmm. is uh, if you are a switcher, for example, if you spend a lot of time working in some activities that is far, far from IT, you will also have some issues with IT processes, some terms will be unknown for you, that's okay too, uh, onboarding will help you with this, and uh, of course, when doing something you will learn it much faster for example for now you can have no idea about scrum events you can open the book and learn them by heart and still have some confusion but when passing these events like one cycle you will be okay phew, now i see <laughs> that wasn't so scary yeah, yeah, should, you should know that uh, it definitely will be easier in some period of time, but uh, we can't say you uh, when it will become easier because it depends on the complexity of the project, of the application, of the team, of the process, so a lot of factors, but in general it definitely will be. And also we recommend uh, like have a, a notes, uh, you can have like even this uh, simple like uh, notebook, I mean no, not electrician and to write down uh, your answers uh, and uh, maybe even to uh, like create your own schemes which can help you to understand your application some connection and so on so it's uh, it's okay and uh, no one expects that you will come as a junior as newcomer uh, it doesn't matter what uh, exp previous experience you have and you will start in in your career from scratch and you will uh, do all the tasks uh, immediately yeah. and the good level I so, if the company is looking for junior they expect to find a junior from the market yes yes so Maybe. don't yeah don't be afraid uh, like asking a question and to try to like figure out all these general things where information what you should do where you should do when the deadline this is imp the most important thing in it and uh, uh, like not spending time on be afraid just do something to learn something read information uh, ask questions and everything will be okay okay and next question what is the deadline for sending tasks same uh, 7 p.m of the same day, day or 7 p.m of the next day the same day you have one day because uh, in the morning you will see uh, the uh, task you have the whole day and uh, 7 p.m is just even you can go home after your work and have some time maybe you have uh, this lunch time uh, during the day so uh, the task is not so big uh, to spend hours on it so we expect that at 7 p.m uh, you will send us it's at the maximum at the same day uh, complete a task we have one hour to review all the tasks and at 8 p.m uh, we will have our uh, this again live event where we provide the feedback uh, of three five works let we will see how many works we have and also we combine some uh, typical mistakes and so we will discuss these topics also you will uh, be able to ask any questions and if you have some uh, we will if you have some questions regarding the task you will have possibility to ask them um, in the comments of the post with the task i think yeah you said about second surprise very interesting what is it we will not tell you but i can tell you that uh, this will be information <laughs> In our modern world, uh, the main important things now we, we have, we are living in this century of information, so it will be information. <laughs> and we will not tell you <laughs> what kind of information is it. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about age? 40 years and older have a chance to get a job. 
yes in our in our company yes it's not a problem age even don't tell anybody about the age you should show your knowledge your skills if what you have and uh, in our uh, company we uh, don't uh, look at age yeah well when while interview you are asked about your age about your family plans and so on this is like a bad sign because <laughs> uh, uh, of course if you are 40 if you are 42 we've got a lot of examples when people have decided to change their career path and they've made it very successfully and maybe sometimes they can do their tasks even better than the students who've been taught to these activities in universities in colleges and so on so the idea is not your age so you cannot even include your age in your cv but mm -hmm. your knowledge uh, your persistence because i remember the trainer at my courses said that not the most cleverest of you will find the job, but the most persistent ones. Wow. So, so be ready to study a lot of material, be ready to send a lot of CVs, to do a lot of test tasks and so on. Yeah, yeah and I, uh, yeah, and would like to add that also don't expect like one set of rules, one set of uh, like uh, information what you learned and learned this by heart and that's all uh, no uh, you should be fle flexible this is the most important thing you should show your understanding of the topic you should uh, show that you can think on how to do you can uh, show your different approaches how to do the same task so this is the most important not age or I yeah, know, maybe your age color. will help you to to answer some case questions. Uh, a lot of uh, managers today like to ask, what will you do in this case? Or let's imagine this situation and maybe your experience will help you to answer these questions properly and you will beat a young 18-year-old <laughs> candidate. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So I believe that IT sphere for me it's like uh, why why I'm uh, why I uh, like IT sphere in general, not particularly testing, but in general uh, that this is very democratic uh, sphere, and uh, this not about uh, some your like maybe relationship or i don't know some friends connections and so on this is all about you your motivation your desire uh, to develop yourself so uh, we believe that uh, our marathon uh, and our channel in general will help you in this yeah just to do your first steps and then next steps again we have a lot of ideas for future content but still there are some fundamentals theoretical uh, materials maybe tasks information we would like to share with you and mm -hmm. maybe also you will suggest us something yeah to create content on that's also cool because uh, sometimes students have difficulties with these or those sphere and we are as it was mentioned before our goal is just sharing sharing is caring for us today <laughs> uh, so suggest uh, your ideas what would you like me to cover in our channel and we will try to do it for you yeah well, it will be a possibility for you to share your feedback on this marathon at the end of the uh, marathon and uh, here also you can suggest us what should be improved but what uh, Ludmila A can uh, uh, how to say this can uh, promise you sorry at the end of our meeting <laughs> I start to forget some things so uh, promise technical topics will be yeah yeah 
I will learn them together with you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, there are no questions for now. So I think we can finish uh, our first live event. Hope it was useful for you. Yeah, the link with the recorded event will be placed in our channel. Maybe in case you will forget about the deadline, so you will have any questions. Remember about possibility to add your comments uh, under, like below each task. Feel free to ask your questions, and we hope uh, it it was useful for you. It will be useful for you. So see you tomorrow in our live event with a lot of questions about our first topic. Yeah. Thank you and bye. See you. Bye.